Hello everyone, I hope you're okay. And um, that was my dog Lulu before. She's an old girl now and she feels the cold even when it's warm. So here she is, look. She's got a little tumour in her mouth. <laughs> Poor little baby, she's nearly 15. She's still happy and uh, loves her life. <laughs> so how are you all? Have you had a nice uh, weekend? Have you been busy? We have had a massive storm here. It was absolutely ridiculous yesterday. It was really like gale force winds and driving rain. But we do need the rain after the hot summer we've had. Uh, and we do need rain. And people get really angry when um, they come to Spain and it's raining. <laughs> but it does rain sometimes here. Otherwise we die because we wouldn't have any water, would we? So we do need the rain, and so does the, do the trees and the, uh, you know, the, you know, nature and stuff. Hi, Dave, I'll see you in three weeks. I hope you're all okay, looking forward to it. Um, so I'm in, in my house today because of the storm yesterday, and I was just on a call um, with a client, so I'm late today. Hello, Paul, how are you? Um, it's gone a bit crazy and I did have had done six plots last week. I've done another one, so that's seven plots on Pine Close. So if you're looking to come and have a house... Oh dear, I'm getting messages. I thought I put my notifications off. So if you're looking for a, um, a home or a plot, please contact me. I've only got about five left on Pine Close. Um, if you're wondering where Pine Close is, if you go on our website, caravansinthesun.com and go to El Rothio site and there's a site plan, I will show you. Look, there it is. So here is the site plan. Oh, no, it's not on that one. Uh, so if you go on to locations, locations, ooh, and then you look Spain, and then you'll see mine come up. You'll see a map, so I can show you where I am now. So, here is Portugal, and here I am, there, by Seville, and Malaga is down here. So I'm still in Andalusia, but I am in near the, near the border of Portugal. So you go on there, and it's El Rothio, and if you press on there, Double click on there, you'll see a load of photos like here, gallery. It's very easy to navigate on our website. It's a really cool website. And if you look down here, there's the mobile homes there. Park info, which will tell you all about the park, the fees. It's a gallery of all. Oh, look, there's Mr. Bombastic. Um, gallery of photos, how you can travel, questions and answers. Viewing, you can book a viewing online there. And also all our... Our uh, homes, which is there, and then I'll just go back on this one, El Rodeo, and then there the site plan is there. Where's it disappeared to? Oh, it's beha it's not behaving today, is it? My there site plan. Sorry, it's like <laughs> I'm really um, moving my phone around today, aren't I? I do beg your pardon. So the site plan is here and you can do live chat. Look, they've live chat with me, but I don't want to live chat because obviously I work for them. So here is the site plan and there is Pine Close. They're on. So I've only got five plots left on there. That's sold out apart from one fir grove. The third plot in, I'm having a swift chamonix come on there. Um which is a two bed, I think it's 38 by 12, that arrives in the next few weeks. I've got a uh, Sheraton Elite arriving, that's sold, that should be here this week, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, the, the weather might have put it back a bit. Hello, Monica, how are you? Yes, it's horrendous, isn't it? Really bad, but it's past now, but um, 
uh, it was really, really bad yesterday. We went to last night to collect my mum from the civil airport and loads of flights were being diverted, but my mum's flight landed. So that was good. Um, so, yeah, so this Swift Chamonix, I'll try and show you, will be going on Fir Grove on the third plot in from the left. I don't know the number, but um, this is it. Swift Chamonix, I'm just going to show you. So the plot fee for the Swift Chamonix will be uh, 350 euros a month starting off with 300 for your first year so it's a really nice one with really nice outlook doors and um, it's going on a lovely plot which is on that road which is there that's plot it's got two bedrooms nice outlook doors there beautiful kitchen very nice well fitted kitchen it's a lovely home i've seen it on our showground and it's winging its way to us now in fact, that isn't the plot it's going on because that plot has been sold. It's another plot which is just on the same row of this but up the up the other end. It's a very, very nice home. And it's coming in at 74,995, two bedrooms. Oh, it's a 39 by 12. So that's good. And it comes with a L-shaped terrace. Oh, look, there's my drums in the background. I need to get back on those. Um, L-shaped terrace and a air con. <laughs> so it's really good I can't see anybody I don't know whether something's happened to my Wi-Fi but I can't see anybody online today although I can see you um, who've said hello um, what else was going to say yep yeah, as you can see you can live chat, chat on our website so you can chat to anybody who's there in the office you can also free phone the 0800 number it's 0800 644 4546 is our um our number it's a free phone you can talk to somebody in the office you can book appointments to have a video call with any of the reps uh wherever who um will do a live call and um, a personal live call on the park of your choice and show some homes if there's any there and show you around the park which is very useful before you fly out you can fly out and book a, a viewing trip and come out and see us at the park of your choice or visit a couple of parks i wouldn't recommend going and seeing too many parks i always find that people that try and find everything that hits every uh every key point of theirs you won't find it you'll find your main key points and don't be too you know be realistic you know you're not going to be right next to the beach where you can jump straight into the sea and be close to uh, a village or a town like two feet away or <laughs> You know, you're going to you're going to have to have one or the other, you know, normally um, within walking distance to restaurants, be close to a city. You know, it's just not going to hit every single non-negotiable. So be realistic when you're writing your non-negotiables <laughs> and you will have a much better time. And I would recommend to visit three parks maximum and do your research very well. Hi, Gina. Do your research very well on each park and the area that the park is in. Don't go and then go, oh, I don't, I don't, I've never heard of this area. How do you know you want to buy a home though if you've never heard of the area or you haven't researched? So research, research, research is everything. And you don't need to go and people say, oh, can I stay for a, a few months to see if I like it? You don't need to do that. You don't. You go on your feeling, how you feel. You come to a place and it's how it makes you feel, whether you'll like it or not. And if you've done your research, you'll know already. Um, you don't need to go and stay for a few weeks to see if you like it because you don't do that if you're buying a house in Britain. You don't go and stay in the sh street for a few weeks to see if you like it, do you? Hey, eh? So you won't do the same thing here either. <laughs> you just visit and you see the area and if you've done your research and it's the type of area that you want to live you'll have a good feeling in here whether you it's for you or not and that's absolutely perfect hello paul you're looking for the culture well you've come to the right lady because we've got abundance of culture here um here in elrothio i've got m absolutely amazing place to live the whole of the surrounding area in huelva and then uh, straight over the border to Portugal without flying and it's an open border Seville on our doorstep Huelva the capital on our doorstep Cadiz and Jerez just down the road where you can go and do your sherry tasting in Jerez which is a lot of fun even though I hate sherry 
<laughs> I hate sherry. It's horrible. Ugh. But I enjoyed the I, I enjoyed the tasting of it. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean, you have to pick where you want to be, and uh, you know, we're there to give you advice on um where you we think you'd like. I've been working in this business quite a long time now, so when I speak to people within the first five minutes of the, me speaking to them, I can normally match them to a park, um, even if they think they don't want to go there. Because <laughs> they say one thing, but sometimes they want another. But when, when you're talking to me, I can say, oh, yeah, Humiladero would be good with for you, or, you know, if they're talking about France or whatever, or Portugal. So... um it's quite good that because we want you to be happy in your parks of course we do you know we don't want people to come and, and be unhappy so sorry for being late again today i'm just apologize once more and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go because it's monday again and it's busy busy so uh, have a nice week everybody enjoy yourselves and please feel free to ask any questions you want we're here to help and we're here to find you a lovely place to be as whether it's a holiday home or a fabulous place to live. Um, hi Ian, nice meeting you as well. Uh, keep that saving, keep those dreams alive. Take care everyone, have a beautiful weekend, be kind and stay safe. Hasta luego.